constant acceleration motion lesson 4.2 the lesson right now is for the first standard so you need to be able to represent the motion of an object with changing velocity let's look at that now So as we learned last week, position versus time graphs, which look like the one on the left here, show an object. Based on its slope, you can figure out the velocity. This graph on the left has a constant slope. The slope is the same everywhere, so this has a uh, constant velocity. This second graph shows a graph with a constantly increasing slope. If you were to take any two points on the line, say here and here, and you were to find the slope between them, and then do two other points on the curve, you'd see that the slope is getting larger in this case. This shows an object that's getting faster. So we're going to look at objects right now that are doing this, that are getting faster. So let's see what you remember about position time graphs. Match each graph on the left with a situation on the right. Pause the video now and restart once you've answered the question. Okay, you have the answer? Let's check you out. If you got the answer wrong, or if you don't understand any of these, please check with me by email or in class. So let's now look now at a graph where the slope is changing. This is a position versus time graph. And what do you think? Is the slope of this graph positive or negative? slope is indeed positive in this case. And do you think the slope is getting larger, increasing, or do you think it's decreasing? The slope is indeed increasing as you move to the right. And remember, the easy way to identify that is to pick out two points on the graph and imagine the straight line slope between them, and then pick out two other points on the graph and you can see that in that second case, the slope of the hypotenuse of the triangle is greater than in the first case. So this is a good slide to rest on, come back and review. If you're having trouble identifying whether the slope is positive or negative and whether the slope is getting larger or getting smaller. Let's test your knowledge now. I have two position time graphs. Pause the video and answer both questions. Welcome back. Let's test your answers. Okay, again, if you have questions on any of these, please check with me after school or in an email. Let's look at the first case. What is that object doing? The slope is negative. Now that implies that an object is moving backwards. And the slope itself is increasing. Increasing meaning getting faster. This is an object that's moving backwards on a number line and getting faster as it goes along. How about that second case? The slope is negative. Notice the graph is going downhill from left to right. And the slope is decreasing. This is an object that's moving backwards and slowing down as it's doing it. And in fact, at this bottom point, the x-intercept on the graph, the object actually comes to a rest at uh, position zero.
That's all I have for you in this video. Remember, that's our first standard here where you can draw and interpret diagrams that represent the motion of an object of changing velocity. This standard we're going to focus on position time diagrams later. Later on we will come back and look at velocity time diagrams. Thank you.